This will be a short and sweet video. Today I completed two delivered deliveries. I earned $96.50. They were both scheduled deliveries. I want to share this with you. Bolt Deliveries reached out when I was at the first pickup. And they write, hi, are you available to rescue an order now? They wanted me to rescue an order. And why did they want that? I had a little communication with them. And then they wrote, you know, not in Riverhead, because that's the one I thought they meant. They meant, they sent the offer to my account in the app. And they said it's a $10 bonus. And what they say is, the driver assigned didn't arrive yet. We need a rescue driver at that location. Well, you can't be at two places at once. This is why I tell you guys, I'll talk about that in a moment. I tell them I can head there 40 minutes. Of course, there was a little bit of a lag. And they say it's a rescue order. So if you can be there in 15 to 20 minutes, that's still okay. I, I couldn't take it because I was in the middle of completing a delivered delivery, which was a small catering order. It was at least $500 worth of food. So I wrote, no, I cannot. They tell me where it's at. They say, copy. Thank you for checking. And they were like, you know, it's 10.56 a.m. now, but are you almost done? Well, I just wrote here. I can head there in 40 minutes because I figured the drop off was so easy. I got a parking spot right in front. I pulled right into the office. I got onto the elevator. I was down. I was there maybe 15 minutes. That's fast for an office delivery. When I was walking to my car, I wrote, I can head to the pickup right now if you need me to because I was done quickly, but they already got someone. And once they get their needs met, they're not going to reach out and say, wow, thanks a lot. Thanks for sending us that. Then They're not going to do that because they got someone else on it. They got someone else to rescue that order. This is what I mean. They need a lot of drivers out there with these newer apps coming out, getting drivers like us to deliver catering orders to offices. Not everybody can do that and to people's homes. Now, I know a lot of people out in the field and I know who qualify to work on the Uber Eats app, food delivery, DoorDash, notorious in my market, people that don't speak the best English, Spark too. That's, I've, I've noticed a lot of things with Spark. And here's an example. A couple, the last time I did one was a few weeks ago. And I bumped into someone that he's in the field. He was asking me what I was doing. He loves working Spark, but he's good on Spark. He speaks decent e English. He's in the middle. Pretty good. And... But he has a bad attitude, and I've seen him at places. He mumbles a lot. He bitches a lot. He whines a lot. He does. And, you know, like, I, I shouldn't have to wait more than a minute. And he would never qualify or be able to work behind the line in a restaurant or even the front of the house. It wouldn't work for him. He just has a bad attitude. He don't quali he, he, he won't qualify working for delivered. And, and he also told me they closed my account down. They won't let me work for them. Now I didn't say that I didn't say anything. I just listened to him because everybody's good at something. But someone like him is not gonna be a good fit for delivered. Here's another example. I completed a delivery yesterday. I completed three delivered deliveries. I earned $128 for three deliveries by choice. And when I got to the office, it was right here in Baldwin. I got into the building and the rep met me outside. She saw me. 
We walked into the office together. There was a lot of things going on in this building. I'm not sure what kind of office it was, but they were getting ready for the next batch of people to give a demonstration on a big screen in a lunchroom setting. It was kind of like a conference room, but a little dated, but it was a kitchen slash conference room. Like they put it together. And when I walked in the back with the rep, we were told to go into a back room, an office room, a couple of desks, computers. And the woman that was getting everyone together, you could see people coming in the side door and waiting in the corner over there. She was like, please, you're going to have to stay here and wait until that group of people in the room leave, all of them. Then we can enter the room. I can't imagine expecting, you, you, you have to know how to conduct yourself. They included me in their conversation. I stood to the side, you know, it was at least a 10 minute wait, stood there like one of the workers, the rep was looking at me and she was going like this, like, you know, you're being really nice here. What was I gonna do? That's the kind of stuff that happens in a business. I followed the woman's lead because she was wonderful. She was so kind and nice, but there was no asking. They said, you're going to have to wait there until we can enter that room. Well, a driver don't have to say yes, but I conducted myself properly. They included me. They were very nice people. Well, that one boss lady was. The other workers were kind of rude, actually. The rep was like, you know, I'll see how fast we can get in there. I mean, she was just looking at me like, this is asking a bit much. We were going past 10 minutes. We got into the cafeteria slash conference room. And one of the women that, for some reason, just wouldn't even include me. And the boss lady was including me and thanked me. And the other lady was like, well, whatever. She was like, I guess we're going to have to clean this up. And she just looked at me. She goes, yes, you are. I, I expect you to wipe down the table, take everything off. You could put the food. You could start putting the food over there. She didn't know my name. She just said, miss, you could put the food on the, like where the sink is and the microwave. This other lady expected me. She goes, well, the antibacterial wipes are over there. It's not my job to clean up and lay out food. I mean, this was a bunch of tables together, wiping it down. The point is, I handled myself professionally and just the eye contact with the rep, like she was like, I'm so sorry, you know. I mean, I was in the building at least 20 minutes by the time we got into the room and I took out the food out of the bag and I waited for the woman to wipe down the table and the boss lady was like, no, 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 you can do that. Miss, you can start taking out the food and putting it over there. Thank you very much for waiting with us. Because people are walk all over you. I don't know why you think I need to do that. But you have to conduct yourself properly, respectfully, because they can report you. And the rep was so nice when I left. She was like, thank you so much. Thank you for waiting with us and working with us. And then the boss lady was like, you don't have to go all the way around. Just go out the side door if you're parked over there. Thank you, ma'am. Stuff like that happens. This is why I'm not worried. I feel for the next year, people like me are going to be booming in the catering business with delivered, with bolt deliveries. I mean, I see working many more bolt deliveries. It's just... I earn more money with delivered and you got to go where the money is. And if I'm going to give my time and schedule it and I am a better fit right now until they get more people on board. Not everyone fits the image of a delivery app. Hey, DoorDash, half their workers can't even speak English in my market. It's just the way it is. They're not qualified to deliver catering size orders. They're not even trained. They, they, they can't, you can't send them to offices. You can't have these people walking into people's homes. Even I'm uncomfortable when I walk into someone's home. You know, you, you have to know how to handle yourself, yourself. You have to know how to speak to customers and clients. Well, that's why I'm getting the big bucks. I completed three scheduled deliveries yesterday, $128. Oh, and by the way, Monday, 
I completed a delivered delivery right here in my town. And on top of the $20 tip on the app, I got a $20 cash tip. They were having a, um, eclipse party and they got these burgers. And when I got there, I mean, it was only a $35 payout. When I got there, they gave me 20 bucks. Maybe I drove eight miles. That's a, that was, you know, 45, 50, $55 payout. Pretty good. Not bad at all. So I feel for the next year, as long as I'm, you know, healthy and willing and able to do it, I'm going to do it. Wow, I said a lot. Sorry. I thought this was going to be a short video. But there's a lot going on. And people like me will stay on these catering apps. Because if you don't know how to conduct yourself, and you don't know how to handle yourself, and you don't speak to people just right, and you don't work with them when you get into offices, you have to know how to do that. Or you're not going to get these high-paying jobs. So tomorrow, I have two, and one of them are paying $85. I took it. Damn straight I took it.